So now we'll discuss the span of a set of vectors. So first, if we have some vectors, x1 through xm and rn, and we have some scalars, c1 through cm, the vector z, given by c1, x1, plus c2, x2, all the way up to cm, xm, is called a linear combination. So basically, it's just some scalar multiplication and addition. So given two vectors, x1 and x2, 7x1 minus 4x2 would be a linear combination. 1x1 plus the square root of 5x2, also a linear combination. 3x2 is a linear combination because we can write this as 0x1 plus 3x2. And 0 is a linear combination since we can write 0x1 plus 0x2. So here I have some vectors and I want to know can b be written as a linear combination of the vectors a1 and a2. So what I'm really trying to find here is do these numbers exist such that x1, a1 plus x2, a2 is equal to b. So doing a substitution, we have the x1 times 1 minus 3, 4 plus x2 3 minus 4, 9, should be equal to minus 8, minus 8, minus 4. So some vector addition and scalar multiplication makes this x1 plus 3x2 minus 3x1 minus 4x2 4x1 plus 9x2 and this should be equal to minus 8 minus 8 minus 4 so this is now just a system of equations and I can rewrite this is 1, 3, minus 8, minus 3, minus 4, minus 8, 4, 9, minus 4. And we want to row reduce this. And when we do, I get 1, 3, minus 8, 0, 1, minus 32 over 5, and 0, 0, 44 over 5. So we can see that this does not have a solution. And since it doesn't have a solution, no, B cannot be written as a linear combination of A1 and A2. So in general, when you're solving these, Asking if something is a linear combination can be solved by just putting the vectors into a matrix and then row reducing. The span of a set of vectors a1 through an is denoted by this span a1 through an and this is a set of all possible linear combinations of the vectors. So a great analogy on the difference between a linear combination and the span. If you think about the pixels on a computer screen, each one can be lots of different colors. Each one of those colors is some combination of red, green, and blue. So each color would be a linear combination of red, green, and blue. However, if I look at all the possible colors that a single pixel could be, that would be the span. At any given time, it's only one color. It's only a single linear combination, but there is an entire span of different colors that it could be. Now I want to describe the span of the columns of this matrix. So if I want to describe the span, I need to figure out what conditions that this would have a solution. So I'm going to put it in a matrix and do a general vector here at the end because I don't know what it needs to be. I'm trying to figure that out. Row reducing this gives the following.
And my final column would be A, 2A plus B, and minus 7A minus 2B plus C. So we can see here that there is always a solution. I don't have a row on the left hand side with all zeros. So it doesn't matter what A, B, and C are, these will always have a solution. So my answer, R3. Anything with three entries does have a solution here. Now let's describe the span of these vectors. So once again, I'm gonna put these in a matrix. And my augmented column here will just be A, B, C. And I want to figure out the conditions that I need. So reducing this gives me 1, 0, 3, 0, 1, minus 11, 0, 0, 0, and then my augmented column a minus 3a plus b minus 2a minus b plus c. So the span here is all vectors a, b, c such that minus 2a minus b plus c is equal to 0. We would need this to be equal to 0 in order to have a solution. If this is anything but 0, no solution would exist.